right, on the port side, we have a galley. All right, so this is the aft side of the boat. It's got nice ventilation, good visibility, it's windows down the side. We have a four burner Miele Marine propane stove, double sink, plenty of storage space, cabinets all around, toaster, coffee maker, a couple of drawers for a fridge and freezer, and then a Thermador microwave oven. This either runs off of shore power or the inverter on board. We've got another set of fridges. So it's two fridges, two freezers, all drawers. This is the control for the center board. We can put a winch in here, and I think with like four turns, you either have the board all the way up or you have it all the way down. It's a nice set of carbon fiber steps, escape hatch here in this space. All right, we're gonna go into the forward cabin. This is one of two forward cabins. We are port side forward. We've got two sets of fans, lights up here, window for ventilation, flush overhead hatch, nice side deck windows. The finish is all nice teak. Everything is done in coring, so it's super lightweight. This whole hull and cabin is air conditioned. It also has great ventilation. We have a set of breakers here. These are 24 volt. So these are tanks and bilge pumps and you can see the tank levels there. And then on the other side, we have the air conditioning control and the breakers for the lights, freezer, galley equipment, propane control, fire suppression. This is the Ford port side head. We have nice Corian counter material, recessed sink, plenty of cabinet space for vanities, large overhead hatch, vacuum flush toilet, it has holding tanks, one on each side. This is a forward shower compartment. It's got a drain in the bottom. It's recessed from the rest of the flooring. It's nice carbon fiber handholds. And then all the way forward on both sides of the boat, there's lots of storage forward. You can see there's a lot of spare lines hanging and there's also some additional sails up here. Looks like a screecher and a two spinnakers up here. We'll have a look at the starboard side down below now. There's two cabins on this side, head and shower all the way forward, very much the same configuration as the port side. So on some of the boats, this was set up as a workshop or storage area. On Starship, this is set up as a third cabin. Two drawers below the berth, and there's also storage in the aft section. And if you wanted to add a generator to this boat, there's also space along there as well. We've got two cabin fans, aft opening hatch, overhead hatch, and plenty of natural light. This is the 110 volt, 220. It's a 50 amp power system. We got the water heaters, the air conditioning compressors, outlets on the inverter, battery charger, and there's also a charger for 12 volt here. This is the controller for the water maker. It's been pickled. There's a pop-up desk uh, or vanity area in this cabin. And then going forward, we go into the starboard forward cabin. This is basically a mirror image of the port side cabin we just saw. We've got another set of panels here for the bilge pumps and the tank gauges for the starboard side of the boat. And then on this side, we have another set of breakers for the lights and for the air conditioning control. All right, we're going into the starboard forward head. Exactly like the port side, nice counter material, cabinet storage on both sides, vacuum flush head. This is the shower compartment. It's plenty of space. And then going forward, we also have another storage compartment. You got a holding tank up in this space and then more storage for sails, life jackets, and other additional equipment. 
Starship does not have electric winches. It has all manual winches, but this makes them all electric. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's extremely effective. It is a lithium ion battery drill, and this fitting fits into the winches. And they're all Harken two-speed winches, so you can reverse the direction, and you go into the second speed. And it's also a variable speed winch, so you can go faster or slower, just like you would by hand. But this is significantly easier than doing it by hand. And although a little bit unconventional, it is extremely effective and fits in with the first owner's philosophy of keeping the boat very simple and easy to operate anywhere in the world. This is the hydraulic controller I was telling you about earlier. So this controls the traveler. So just by pumping this back and forth, it moves the traveler in. And then there's also a release button to release it. And then the same thing for the main sheet. You can trim the main sheet in here, or you also have double-ended sheets on both sides of the boat aft on the winches I showed you earlier. I'm Staley Weidman with the Catamaran Company in Fort Lauderdale. This is the Gunboat 55 Starship. It's in Fort Lauderdale now and available for sale. If you'd like any details about this boat, please let me know. I'm extremely familiar with it and be happy to help you with any information you need.